hello guys now you can install Phoenix OS on your Windows PC by using VMware Workstation 14 it works so smoothly on VMware just like you have only installed Phoenix OS on your physical hard drive of your PC no bugs no crash even you can run 3d accelerated apps or gaming apps on your phoenix os by using vmware workstation 14 in this tutorial i'm gonna to show you how you can install phoenix os on your vmware workstation for installing process first of all you have to download the iso file of phoenix os from in from the internet then you have to install vmware workstation pro on your windows system so let's see how you can configure to install phoenix os on your windows system by vmware workstation first launch the vmware workstation then you have to create a new virtual machine for your Phoenix OS. Uh, just create file and create new virtual machine and uh, select the virtual machine hardware comp compatibility uh, workstation 12x. Uh, then, then I will install the operating system later. Then next, then select other and select other 16, 64 bit. Then rename the virtual machine uh, with Phoenix OS. Then go to the next. Select the um, uh, four of your number of the processor for using uh, purpose for Phoenix OS, and then next and use um, give the fifteen thousand amount of RAM for your VMware virtual machine then select next next then in this step you have to create a virtual disk for your Phoenix OS and uh, create a new virtual disk of about 8 GB or above the 8 GB of any size as you wish. So now I am creating 8 GB virtual disk for my Phoenix OS, and this is the storage for your apps and other system of your uh, Phoenix OS. Then next, 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 finish. And you can see a new virtual machine has been created. And uh, now you have to go uh, VM tool and then select next. And uh, mm, Select the CD DVD and check mark use ISO file and browse the uh, browse the ISO file of Phoenix OS which you have just downloaded from the official website of Phoenix OS. This is the file of of Phoenix OS which I have downloaded from the uh, official website of Phoenix OS then select open then go to the uh, display option and you have to enable the accelerated 3d graphics
then check to mark on specify monitor settings and you have to select the resolution for your desired monitor and then give the amount of memory for your graphics of Phoenix OS 600 uh, 68-bit XTMB 68MB then select OK sorry in this uh, option uh, second option tab uh, you have to just uh, select general then the enhance keyboard use if available recommended and then ok now all of the settings customization of your VMware software has finished now and you can just uh, boot up the Phoenix OS now by by clicking on this play icon now you can see a windows has come up and then select the next one install Phoenix OS to hard disk then press enter in this uh, in this tab you have to create a new you have to create two partitions for uh, for installing purpose of your Phoenix OS. Uh, then you have to just select create a new create or modified partition. Uh, do you want to use GTP? No. And uh, you can see uh, a black window of of uh, Linux partitioning has come up and uh, you can create a new partition or modify any partition in this window just you have to create a new primary and give you uh, give the two, uh, uh, 200 MB uh, inside to create the first partition uh, select beginning you, have, you can see and, uh, a partition has been created and then select uh, then to the next one and create new uh, primary and give the rest size of uh, the, um, the MB for the second partitioning you press enter then SDA1 select the port above and uh, then select right option then type yes and then press enter the partition table has been created now and and just select quite and press enter and you can see the two partition has been created and switch the second partition and then press enter for to format uh, the partition uh, with ext4 and then press enter uh, then select yes do you want to install the efi garb2 uh, select yes and uh, the first one has come up and select the first one and press enter and do you want to format the boot partition then select yes uh, do you want to install the garb then select yes you have to install the garb boot loader uh, to the first partition of sda1 uh, which is the size of uh, which was the size of 200 mb then press enter then you can see uh, the installing installing of the installation of the Phoenix OS has started. Wait for some times for finishing the installation. 
it will ask for reboot after uh, complete, uh, complete the installation Now you can see the installation has been finished and in this process you have to uh, just uh, remove the mouse cursor just pressing control and alt button at the same time and you can see the mouse has been removed from the VMware and then disconnect the CD uh, of Phoenix OS and then select the again select the VMware and then press enter to for reboot you can see uh, the Phoenix OS has boot up now in this in this process you have to wait some moments for system initializing uh, it depends on the CPU or RAM of your of your physical hardware or on a system so be patient in this step now you can see the installation of Phoenix OS has finished and in this step you have to just select the language of your of your state and uh, now I am selected the English as the state language of my Phoenix OS then select next accept next next finish now you can see a black uh, the black side has come up in this Phoenix OS and you have to just select the proper resolution for uh, for discriminating this uh, back, uh, this black side of your disc uh, screen so just <coughs> go to the settings of your Phoenix OS and then select display option and in this dis uh, in this display resolution option just uh, select your this monitor display here mine is Mm, and modify it and restart then it will automatically reboot the Phoenix OS Now you can see the Phoenix OS is full screen resolution. There is no no black side in my Phoenix uh, OS. And now I can also switch the uh, the host OS by just pressing Control and Alt button at the same time.
for removing the mouse then you can see uh, here is a minimize button for for minimizing and you can see that I can use the both of the two operating system at the same time and uh, there is a also a benefit for Phoenix OS is you can uh, you can launch any application in particular windows just like the windows uh, in Phoenix OS in uh, this is the best feature for Phoenix OS uh, you can use Android app just uh, just like uh, just like Windows so uh, so you can uh, use any of the apps or install uh, any apps from your host to your uh, Android system of Phoenix OS for this purpose you have to install solid explorer and uh, you have to enable the uh, SMBA connection of your host operating system then uh, in solid explorer uh, uh, file manager you have to add the uh, SMBA connection of your PC and then you can browse the uh, hard drive of your uh, host OS in in Phoenix OS and you can play video or share files between the host uh, host and ghost OS of Phoenix and uh, thanks for watching my video and I hope all of the viewers like my video bye bye